minutes on her amendment. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My amendment would require DHS to continue its current practice of making sure CFATS facilities are inspected for compliance at least once every two years. Timely inspections are essential to the integrity of the security program. Since current law does not require CFATS to carry out inspections within any particular time frame, the program is an easy target for budget cuts. In fact, DHS has said that proposed cuts for the fiscal year 2024 would impact the current compliance cycle. It could potentially increase the time between inspections from two, uh, two years to a minimum of three years. These cuts would also reduce compliance assistance visits and outreach efforts, making the program less collaborative and accessible to the regulated community. I can appreciate that all programs must grow and evolve with the resources available to them. However, it is important to remember that CFAT struggled for many years to get its compliance inspection process off the ground. There was a severe backlog that GAO predicted would take seven to nine years to clear. The fact that CISA has cleared the backlog and gotten inspections running on reliable and consistent schedules is no small feat. I understand with this impending budget cut, CISA is considering a swift, excuse me, a shift towards alternative inspection models like virtual techn technical cons consultations that began during the COVID-19 pandemic. There may be advantages to using these models, but again, we should proceed with caution. There's no substitute for an in-person physical inspection, and I would advise against short-sighted budget-cutting measures that undermine the effectiveness of this program. So please join me in supporting my amendment to ensure that our nation's highest risk facilities are secure against a terrorist attack. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. The gentlelady yields. Um, does anyone else?